How's it going, Vandals? I'm Johnny. Welcome back to Graphic Vandalism. Yup, it's new video time. This one is Asphalt Jungle, a look at one of my favorite genres, crime drama. With this video, I'm going to take a look at books from all over the crime drama spectrum, and Vandals, I've picked out five of the most epic comics I've ever come across. This video is also a request from my buddy Fred, who is a huge fan of anything Hobbit related, and is the showrunner of a new podcast I'm a part of, Nerds from the Underground. So, thanks for the rad request, Fred, and with that, Vandals, let's just get into it. Okay. Okay then, I'm gonna get brutal with this first one here, cause first up is Scars, written by the one and only God himself, Warren Ellis, with dark, demented, and horrific art by Jason Burroughs, published by Avatar Press. And dang, Vandals, I'm not kidding, this is the most hardcore book on this list, as this one is all about a cop on the trail of a child killer, and due to an apathetic criminal justice system, this book and the cop it's about goes to some very very dark places and Burroughs doesn't spare the reader as the dark places are drawn with almost a cruel amount of detail. I read that Ellis wanted to scare people with this book and I have to say he really succeeded at his goal. I'm pretty jaded and desensitized but this book even creeped me out so I really do believe it deserves high praise as it never devolves into horror and just stays a moody noir thriller so yeah this is a total must read. Nice. Nice. Next up is The Wicked and Warped Revenger, written and drawn by the new up-and-coming god of indie comics, Charles Forsman, published by Burgeon Street Press. And wow, Vandals, this is one I've wanted to cover for a while, as it's so my style. It blends 80s and 90s trash films with a dark and moody noir style I just go over the moon for. This one tells the tale of The Revenger, a badass woman who travels all over to right wrongs and kick asses. We join her on a trip to Neptune, California, as she looks for a missing girl, but discovers a town full of darkness, and she decides she's going to rip its evil heart out, and wow, I always get taken on a journey with Foreman's work, but this is his most fun, in my opinion, by far. I absolutely love everything about it, and I really can't recommend it highly enough, yo. Right on! Now, let's take a peek at Kill Box, written by Tom Royden, with stunning and vivid black and white art by Nathan Gooden, published by American Gothic Press. And honestly, Vandals, this book was a wonderful surprise when I discovered it at my LCS, as I'm quite used to stories about people in competitions to be the last killer alive, so to see a creative team take this concept and actually do something completely new with it, my jaw was dropped. The end of the first arc has such a cool and wild switch up of mood and tone that is something akin to the part in From Dust Till Dawn where it becomes a vampire movie. I don't want to spoil it. All I can tell you is it is so rad and something I never saw coming. I can't put into words how much of a must read this comic is, yo. Sweet! Now, let's hop on over to the colorful and violent Hotline Miami Wildlife, written by the team of Federico Cimello and Maurizio Farini, with bright and beautiful 80s-looking art by Alberto Massaggia, published by Day Job Studio. And holy crap, Vandals, this book is just knocking futz, as it takes the ideas of patriotism and propaganda, satires the holy hell out of them, but still tells a blisteringly badass, rad-as-hell story that is like what you get if you mix Boondock Saints with American Psycho and then sprinkled a little bit of Starship Trooper-style cynicism on top. This book takes place in an alternate history version of the 80s where the Russians have nuked San Francisco and random jaded American citizens get chosen to be assassins that clean out Russian mob cells. I'm told this comic is based on a video game. I've never really heard of it or played it, and most of the time, comics about video games aren't very good, but wow, not this one. I really want to find and play this game now so bad. Oh heck yeah! Now, last but surely not least, let's check out Limbo, written by one Mr. Dan Waters, who is really becoming one of my favorite new names in comics, with lush and sublime retro style art by Casper Wingard, published by Image Comics. Now, where to even start with this odd, beautiful, moody, metaphysical noir thriller set in a world where magic is conjured through old 
old 80s tech devices. I mean, this book just has it all. Lovely art, great characters, menacing villains, and some of the most inspiring and original henchmen ever. This book is honestly just too good to be so unknown. It's like if you mix the classic film The Big Sleep with Beyond the Black Rainbow. It's just so fun and special. I really hope I can get more people to read this one as it really deserves to be seen as a classic in my opinion. So on the real, check it out, yo. Well, Vandals, there you have it. That was Asphalt Jungle, and I really hope you liked it, or at least learned about a few new books from it. I'd again really like to thank Fred for the epic request Please let me know what are some of your favorite crime drama comics are in the comments down below because I love recommendations. But for now, until next time, I'm Johnny. This is Graphic Vandalism. Don't stop reading, yo.